Jane Stanton, we are back. And here in Everest Harbor, overlooking the planet Hurston and the city of Lorville down below. Look at this. Look at how awesome that is. We are going to do some missions today. Now, this is a two-part. First part here, always get call to arms. Call to arms, remember, always get that. The reason why is because call to arms will give you bonuses for any kills. I was planning on doing an assistant defending site. See, I'm choosing that here. And we're going to go to HDSF Tompkins. Now, I'm going to run into a little error here, and an error that is quite common in this game, an error that happens quite a bit uh, in certain locations, and this is a way that you can maybe get around it. So if you look at the, uh, the reputation system, we're seeing what a reputation is. By finishing a mission, reputation goes up. By failing a mission, reputation goes down. Abandoning a, abandoning a mission will bring your reputation down as well. So I've got my gear here. I got a a, a multi-tool, but I'm gonna need some guns. So I'm gonna get those. But while I'm doing that, I was gonna get my ship out. But now here we are. We're in the ship. We're gonna head out, and we're gonna go to uh, HDSF Tompkins. And I'm gonna kind of do a little jump ahead and kind of show you the error, the the issue that I had, and a potential way to get around it because the AI in this game has gotten a lot better so we're able to uh, potentially get around something that might happen to you so we're gonna fly to Hurston and we're gonna fly to Tompkins and I'm gonna show you a little bit of trick uh, that I have as far as a way to make getting gear uh, loading up your vehicle easier once you get there so we're gonna do a first of many jumps in this video when we get towards the surface when we're flying over Tompkins and we're heading in to start the mission so now we're over Tompkins, we're heading into the restricted area, don't worry about that because the restricted area, and you can see right there, uh, I had a little message pop up. Restricted area isn't going to affect you because you are on a mission, so you're not going to get any trespassing. But the thing that just popped up there tells you, hostiles remaining, 10 out of 10. So I am positioning myself behind the bunker. Always go behind the bunker and fly low and slow over the top. Uh, because that will line you up perfectly with the doors. So I've hit F4 here to kind of see where I am, kind of going over here. Just fly through straight ahead and come in for a landing. Uh, and when I look at the position, I am right in front of the ramp. What an easy way to line up. So if you're trying to line up your ship, if you have a rear cargo ramp like the Cutlass Black or an MSR, that's a great way to do it. So turn off your engines, we're going to head out, and we're going to go to the elevator and head into this mission. So you can see I'm in the elevator here. There's still some more fighting. You can see some of the uh, the numbers for the remaining uh, enemies has gone down, but I can't get down. I can't do anything because there is a glitch with the panel. You can see the panel there is flashing away, flash, flash, flash. I try to interact with it. Finally, I click it and the elevator drops, but there's two elevators. There's a second elevator and it is the one that I'm trapped on. And you can't act or, uh, interact with this one. You are trapped up here. Someone talked about maybe getting a ladder as a secondary entrance into the bunkers and having missions that go along that lines by allowing you to, to break in from another direction. I think that would be awesome because it would be a way to fix the fact that you can't get into this one. But I noticed the numbers are going down. The amount of enemies are going down. And I thought, this is a cool idea. If you're a new player, you want to get some gear, can you use the AI, the security, and assist in defending the site while getting it down. So we're down to five there already, and so that is cool. So I'm gonna accept another mission and give this a go. So once this mission completed, and the security force did uh, manage to get rid of all the enemies, and I got some payment, and I got reputation, but I wasn't able to get the gear, I thought, I am going to accept a new mission. So I accepted this one for security post depot on Hurston, and I'm going to head there, but first I'm going to go to Everest Harbor, and I'm going to drop off all my gear. I'm going to leave all my gear behind, except for multi-tool. I'm going to give this a try to see if anyone with a new player with limited gear, maybe all you have is even the suit and helmet that you get from, from responding from at a hospital, and if that'll allow you. So I'm flying towards Security Depot on Hurston, and once I'm over top of there, we're going to give this a go. We're going to see how long this takes in order to, um, in order to, to potentially let the AI do all the heavy lifting for you. So you see, you see, I'm getting close, and pretty soon the number of enemies, 10 out of 10, there is going to start going down. So I'm taking my time to line up my entrance of my my cuddy. I'm going to land, and I have absolutely no gear on me besides a multi-tool with a tractor beam. 
you don't even need that technically. You could just go along picking things up by hand, but the security uh, forces are all spread around the base, so it actually might take a while in order to get everything. So the multi-tool is definitely the way, but you can see I'm coming over top again, push F4 to get an external view. Uh, I actually showed this to a new player. Uh, maybe I'll put in some video here of the new player in a bit, showing uh, basically just uh, how I helped them out. But they're a new player. Uh, their name was Derubin, maybe Derubin? Let's go with Derubin. I'm sure that's not his name, but that's what I'm gonna call you. Uh, he was playing, new guy, and I brought him to a post. I actually did some work there, doing some shooting, taking some people out, just to speed things up, but got him all the new gear. And I got some cool gear as well, because finally one of the security guys died, and when they died, they uh, dropped their armor, which is something I haven't actually seen yet. But look at this, lined up awesomely. How much better can you get just by flying over it? Now I do remember this new player uh, trying to land his Nomad very, uh, very hard. He was hitting a few things because, you know, it's only been flying for a couple days. He asked how I managed to land the ship so much easier. Practice, practice, practice. After flying a ship almost daily for a year, you're going to get awesome at it. There you can see, I just pulled out with holding down one for the weapons wheel, my multi-tool, that is all I have. And I started to go down, we're already at seven out of 10. So they've already taken out three for me. You don't even need to drop down the elevator, but it's good to make sure the elevator works. And here I am waiting. Now I do kind of get tired of waiting here and I kind of want to take a look and see if I can see anything uh, and kind of walk in. And I do get a couple shots at me. Not really the smartest move. You could just hang out here in the elevator in the safety and wait, but it does not take long. This is all live. I'm not doing any cuts here. And you can see exactly how long it takes for this to go. So you see the lights are flashing there and we're just kind of watching the screen. I am doing another video coming out soon. Look forward to that. It is one that has taken me a long time to get ready. And it is all about AFK timers and how long you can wait at one location. But trust me, you're gonna have plenty of time just waiting here for security to take, uh, take care of them. We're already down to five and we're going to just wait a little bit longer and we can kind of hear some gunshots in the distance, but they are doing the work. This is awesome. So while I'm doing this, maybe in the bottom corner, I'll just show some video of me helping this new player out, helping them do a little bit of the mug commission themselves. We actually had a little bit of an action. I would use the tractor beam and pull some bodies over to him and let him loot them and the guns, what was going on. So he'd be able to grab some stuff, maybe take some shots. Uh, three guys ran up on us and I took them out pretty quickly, which is kind of interesting. But here we are, we're heading in because uh, there's only four left. I thought, well, I'll take a look around, see where they are, see how far they are. They are a lot closer than I thought, but crouch down here and just kind of take a look around but I figured I'm behind these boxes I'm probably pretty safe uh, turns out maybe that wasn't the case because you're gonna see I do get a few shots at me here but I think it was right around here that they start shooting there's one there I'm sure he sees me and there's some shots so I got a little bit of a, a shots at me but I run around here and there's only one left I figured all right this is not gonna take long come around this corner few more seconds and any time now any time now come on guys and now now almost now pretty much now there's one left I do think it was clear I thought it was quicker there we go now I don't have to even crouch, don't have to hide. And look at this guy is still falling. He hasn't even hit the ground yet and I've grabbed him. This is where I learned something else about this bunker. So I throw him on the elevator. I go to get the gun, grab that. I'm gonna put on the elevator. I turn around and I look, body's gone. Where did the body go? That's when I realized this elevator has this gap here. Do not chuck a body down this gap. Not all ele elevators have that. This one certainly did. I did try a little while later trying to gather those items. Uh, see if I can get the body, but I could not. So I lost a whole suit of armor and some ammo, but again, no effort and only a couple minutes. And the security forces took all this. Not only did I get paid, not only did I get this armor, not only did I get the reputation, but I didn't have to quit the mission if I was trapped up top and letting them do everything. But look at this, with a multi-tool or even by hand, you could just start dragging these bodies or you could start looting them on site and bringing these items or just grabbing the ammo and the guns and a couple pieces if you wanted. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Start ser searching the area for the different loot crates, but I just start grabbing these bodies and I'm gonna start stacking them up. This was awesome. Not as fun, definitely doing bunker missions is fun, 
but losing gear is never fun and running out of items so we got there's a loot crate there you can see you can loot that you can look around so my suggestion is if you're just starting out and you don't want to lose all your gear just do this once get yourself a multi-tool let security take care of all of them start looting when I loot here it's always good to grab the uh, the ammo first so I'm putting some legs on because they got internal storage and then also putting the ammo onto them then you can start looting the rest of the body the reason why you want to loot the ammo first is I like to keep it separate when I have it in my local inventory that way when you are uh, suiting up getting ready to go and do a mission it's easy to grab the ammo because it might be attached to a chest plate you don't know which one to grab so currently that I find is the best way uh, but again do this once or twice get a bunch of gear put it in your ship put it in the local inventory and then do some missions then if you die and you lose your armor you lose your weapon who cares so I actually did a mission where I gathered as much armor and weapons as possible and I made a, a total of what I gathered and the costs in game of all the items and that doesn't include uh, the little pieces that I may have missed like the the attachments so all these weapons I'm grabbing they're gonna have scopes on them or, or uh, stabilizers or different pieces I didn't really take those into account so I'm gonna put that up on the screen here and you can kind of see uh, but this is that armor there that is the armor that I got doing the mission with the, the new player so I gave him all the other armor but I grabbed a suit of that because I hadn't seen any of the security go down even when I've been doing the ones where I've been fighting so this is only the second time that I've let them do all the fighting and awesome awesome way to get gear so this is just something for new players because losing gear sucks but if you do this and you get free gear then it, who cares you lose it you lose it you go back you get some more you're gonna lose a gun you can lose armor doesn't matter go back give it a go plus a good way to get the reputation up for doing some of the bigger missions so the next mission I have uh, I've got a reputation now where I can do some de destroyed narcotics missions I'm gonna try those later but I'm going to jump ahead from this now. So from loading all these uh, these guys in the elevator, we're going to go to show how I get the gear and loot these bodies and put them onto my ship. So here we are, looking around, no one there. We're getting onto the elevator and we're going to hit surface level. There we go. And we're heading up now, heading to the surface and look at pile of bodies I got here I got a pile of weapons I'm wearing some of the, the gear now but we're gonna start putting this all on the ship this itself is only gonna take maybe about three or four minutes and it's very quick very easy if you have the uh, the tractor gun so I start moving the bodies from here into that first alcove now there's no gap so you don't have to really worry about dropping the bodies down this is the fastest way to move gear as well it's still on the body guns the fastest way is if you have none on your person pick up guns while you're wearing armor and just start collecting them you can carry some guns on your back as well as one in your hands and run them into the ship that way that seems to be the fastest way to carry it to move guns but I'm just still gonna track to them into this back hall first because I am wearing some guns that I picked up while I was playing so we're looking around here are all the different weapons we're gonna put them in there if you're looting bodies down below and you see uh, a gun kind of floating in the air that one's kind of glitched out even though it looks like you might try to interact with it you're not able to now a little dark here hit T uh, I think T for torch we put some light on and now I'm gonna move uh, I'm gonna start looting here but eventually I move the bodies outside so what I do loot it start grabbing the ammo take the ammo off that's what I do at every time and then to start grab it grabbing the different armors to that icon you can see it looks like a hand and that says drop it now here uh, I'm trying to drop the undersuit but it won't let me because it says it's too crowded here now I'm gonna start putting the gear with the tractor beam into the back of the cutty so I'm starting to do this and I'll do this for a little bit but then I realized that it's a lot of mouse wheel up and down to get them this far so I'm actually gonna move the bodies a second time just to outside of the cutlass now the reason I don't load the bodies themselves into the cutlass is because I don't know if it still happens but bodies were setting off the turrets if you started putting enemies onto the ship the turrets will start shooting you thinking that you had uh, an enemy ship or that you were having a crime stat so instead you put them out here now I will say you can loot these bodies in front of guards you can loot dead guards in front of guards it does not matter currently they don't care you can do whatever you want but I'm just putting these bodies outside again look at how fast the tractor beam is versus using the drag function we have to walk backwards it's a lot harder a lot slower 
this is so much easier. Just get all these guys outside, drop them on there. Now, the guns themselves, if you grab those guns, I would just drag them right into the ship. So you can see, I'm looking at them here, but I'm going to start picking up these weapons and putting them into the back of the ship so that I can store them in the inventory. Now, I will say, while you're watching this, I'm going to put things into the ship like this, physically just throw them onto the ship. But if I'm in my ship and there's a 30k and I, I uh, the, sh the game crashes and I restore, anything kind of sitting around in the back of this probably won't be there anymore. It's the stuff in your ship inventory. So you're going to have to still transfer this into your ship inventory. If you're going to log off, make sure you have the things you want to keep in your ship inventory and you're at a station. But I'm looking around here. If you can't see stuff, you can see I wasn't sure where the gun was because it's still kind of dark. Just have the tractor beam on and wave it over the surface and you will highlight and pick up one of the pieces. So here I'm like, where's the last one? I don't see any. I think we're good. So I'm kind of looking around. I think we're good. I think we've got all the stuff. So now we're going to head back down here. We're going to head into this location and grab the last part of this guy, which is his helmet. We're going to drop that on the ground and his undersuit. We're going to drop that. Now, in order to get a, an undersuit off, you have to get everything else, including the helmet off first. So there we go. We toss him out of the way. We're going to put the helmet in there, put the undersuit in there. We're going to chuck those in. And now it's so much closer and so much faster. Next body, just rinse and repeat. Loot. Remove the ammo. Drag it into your armor. Start dragging things off. It doesn't matter what order except for the undersuit. Got the chest, got the arms, got the legs, got the helmet. And then, very last thing, undersuit. Drop, and we can move the guy out of the way and put things in. So we start moving some of these boxes into the back of the ship. Get them in there. And then once we have the pieces in there, we're going to grab the guy. And we're going to check him so he's not in our way. Get him out of the way so he's just not taking up space. Especially when you're trying to drop things on the ground. It says the area's too crowded. So get him. Off you go. Next, we're going to keep repeating this until everything is in the ship. So I'm going to do a quick jump until we are in the ship. And I'm going to show you the next step that you do. So here we are. The very last piece taking off the ramp there. And we're bringing it into the ship. And that's it. Nothing else left. So we're going to go up here. Just out of habit, I'm going to close the ramp. Now, we're going to start loading this into the ship inventory. And this is just the stuff you really want to make sure you don't lose. So we're going to grab some of the weapons. I'm going to go inspect on this to show you. So on, on spec, we can see the gun here. We've got customize, and we can look at some of the stuff. So these little areas where you can put customization stuff. So look at the scope here. We're going to click on that. And you can see there's a scope. There is a scope on this gun. We can drop it off. We can put it on. We have a bunch of things. There's nothing underneath there that's usually like a weapon light or something, but there we have like a stabilizer or compensator, whatever it's called. All these things, all these guns have little extras. I didn't count these when I was looking at the value of the items. Now, if I hit I, we have the ship inventory. I could drag things like the compensator or the ammo out of the gun or the scope. We can drag all those pieces off and into inventory, but I'm just going to keep the weapons themselves fully loaded the way they're set up. Drag it into the inventory look on back. I have a couple weapons on my back. Drag those in. Now, I will later uh, show you a way to kind of not worry about the clutter. So now we're going to grab this weapon. Hit grab. Grab the weapon. Next weapon. Grab. The next one is on your back. Now we have that one. Is there any more around here? We're looking for them. They're all in our boxes, so we'll find them later, but that's what you can do to, to get weapons. Now they're all stored, and now hitting I, you can easily grab all the weapons you've picked up and put them into the inventory. So we're going to grab that. Got another gun. Grab this, put it in there. Now I want to get rid of the uh, the other items, like your multi-tool, because if I accidentally take my legs off, uh, the leg armor and store it, the multi-tool will be attached to them, it'll be hard to find. So now take all the armor pieces off, and they are there. Now I didn't grab the ammo, I should have, because you want the ammo dragged out of your inventory later. So I, I do end up doing that later, so that the ammo is separate from the chest armor. So if I put that chest armor back on, that ammo will exist. Now I've taken off the undersuit, because now I go around looking for an undersuit. It says it there, so I will find undersuit and go equip. Hit equip, I'll put on the undersuit. Automatically, I'm wearing it. Now I just find helmet, arms, legs, and chest pieces, and I put all those on there. Just say equip, and I'll wear them. Equip, wear, equip, wear, get everything. There's an undersuit I don't really need, so I could just hit I and drag that out of my inventory in my hand into local inventory. 
inventory. And that's a way you can also speed things up, is put everything on and then grab one extra piece that you're not going to wear right away. Uh, that I put the, uh, the ammo, the, the chest piece back on because I realized, oh, I need to take the ammo off. So now I sort and I like to choose something like I'll choose commodities or ammo so I can actually see uh, what I'm putting in. Or to reduce clutter, I like to hit uh, commodities as the tab and the, the sort of the destination I'm putting. And that way when I'm dragging things in there, they just disappear. They're not filling up that screen. It's making it a lot easier to see. And you'll see that when I'm putting things into local inventory. But here I am. I'm dragging all those off my inventory. Now I can drag the chest weight. And you can see the chest piece disappeared because it's not going into ammo, but it is going into inventory. So I'm going to repeat this a few times. I'm going to load up as much gear as I can. You will eventually load up your ship. Depending on what ship you have, you are going to run out of space in the local inventory. So everything else, you're going to have to basically drag into uh, your local inventory of your ship inventory from the location. So I'm going to jump ahead to landing at Everest Harbor where we put all these into our local inventory. So here we are coming in for a landing at Everest Harbor after a successful trip. And this did not take long at all. This whole thing from accepting this mission to landing there to landing here was about half an hour. Really, really quick. In fact, it was much less than that. I think it was closer to about maybe 20, 25 minutes to do all of this. So this is what's left. This is what I could not fit because you can see the ship inventory. I just stopped uh, and stopped putting things in there, but I could have had much more space. So local inventory, I hit commodities so that I don't have to worry about getting all cluttered. First things first, I have ammo. I'm going to start dragging all the ammo in there. Right now I'm just kind of looking to see what types of ammo I got, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to drag all this ammo in. And that way, next time when I grab a gun, if I grab a, an SMG or a grenade launcher, all I need to do is look for the specific uh, ammo for the different pieces and match up the like shotgun shells or the pulse rifle with the different ammos. Such an easy thing to keep ammo separate so it's not attached to the chest armor. That's why I like taking the ammo off the body separately. I don't take ammo out of the guns, so most guns are loaded when I grab them, at least with some ammo. So now uh, we can see here we have the undersuits. I start grabbing those and dragging them over. Then, once I have everything out of my ship inventory, I'm just going to repeat what I did to put it in the ship inventory for the rest of the items. I'll walk around picking up different pieces of armor and drag them over. We got some more the chest armor, leg armor here. These are some things that I stored in there. Most of it I just kept on the floor because I knew I was coming back and I was going to, to drop this off uh, at Everest Harbor. Once it's in Everest Harbor, once it's in the local inventory, it's always there. So you can do a bunker mission, drop some stuff off at Everest Harbor. Do another bunker mission, drop some stuff off at Area 18. Do one for New Babbage, do one for Port Olisar. You can put it in the space stations or at the cities. It doesn't matter. All that gear will always be there. Then you'll always have a set of armor and backups, under, uh, over, undersuits and helmets and weapons. All this item you can leave all over in different stashes all over the verse. So that's going to be awesome. So now I've got the ship emptied. And I'm just going to start grabbing the equipment, so once I equip it, I can just walk around, grab everything I need to equip, hit I, and start dragging the local inventory. Once it's in the local inventory, it is good to go. And just think, once we can start selling gear, once we can start selling items to shops, how much better it's going to be doing missions, bunker missions, not only getting paid for doing the missions, but you're going to be able to take all this armor and weapons that you have gathered that you don't really need, and you're going to be able to sell them and make a little bit extra profit that's going to be huge so i'm looking forward to that so that is it this is how you can use the ai to help you out not only getting some rep getting some money but getting some gear if you're just starting out because once you have all this gear get on out there and actually do the bunker missions do some shooting do some practice it's super fun way more fun than waiting for them to do it yourself and if you die who cares did you lose anything no you're still out ahead because look at all the gear plus if you get killed in a mission you can always fly back to the mission and uh, keep at it until all the hostiles are destroyed. So it's something you can kind of keep at it and repeating. Uh, death does not always mean a failure of the mission. In fact, sometimes you get to do body recovery, which is also kind of exciting. So as long as the, the mission itself hasn't failed or ended, you're able to get back in there into the restricted zone. But here you can see I'm carrying a box. I drop that, and then I start stripping off the armor that I'm wearing. So the one last piece you're carrying in your hand will speed this up just a little bit farther. But so far, until they improve how you do things with inventories, this is a cool way to do it. 
So, let's end this where we started. Sitting down in this chair, looking out over Hurston, and let's check out our reputation. It's gone up, we've got more rep, we got some more gear, well on our way to junior security. Until next time, head on out there and give this a try yourself. I hope to see you soon in the verse. Goodbye.